First flush rainwater diversion kits. Do they work or are you being sold something that is not really necessary? I'm about to let you know. So I recently did a video on setting up your own rainwater harvesting tank. I'll tag it up at the top here for you to, to click on and view if you haven't yet. But in that video, you'll see that we set up this rainwater, well, first flush rainwater diversion kit. <laughs> it is a mouthful. And what it's meant to do is take all of the runoff from your gutter and your roof, all the first batch of water coming through, which tends to have leaves, dust, algae, all of that stuff that's built up in the gutter, stores it. And as the water fills, there's a foam ball at the top that rolls. The clean water then runs off the top and that's what goes into your tank. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to empty this out into a clear bucket so we can see what we actually caught and then we'll know how effective these are at catching the things that aren't meant to be going into your tank. So I'm going to take you close up, let's have a look and see what we find. Okay, so where this is positioned, we had the blue drum here before and it's full of water so we haven't moved it quite yet which makes this a little bit tricky so what we're going to be doing for now which makes it a little bit tricky is we're just going to empty it into a little clear bowl and then empty it into a big one just for now so we can show you what has actually come out so it comes with a tap which is nice we're going to open that up whoa there's a lot of junk coming out of there i don't know if you can see but That's not stuff that you want in your tank and it smells pretty nasty too. So I'm going to put that in the big tank. I'm going to carry on going. Now the wood is starting to clear out now, which is obviously more towards what was left at the top. Okay, so the water pressure is reduced now, which to pretty much nothing. I'm going to close the tap up. Okay, so if you wanted an answer on whether first flush rainwater diversion kits work, there's your answer. It 100% does. The color of the water, there's quite a lot of junk in there and, and the smell, which is quite aggressive, which obviously means there's some nasty stuff that was collecting up in the gutter. It's now all here. And you would also have seen in the runoff that the water became very clear towards the ends, which is a very clear sign that at the bottom, all the junk came out. The water was clear towards the top, which is pretty much telling us that the water that's busy rolling off the ball at the top once the first flush has been collected is clean. So there you have it. First flush rainwater diversion kits. Do they work? According to me, 100% they do. If you don't have one, consider getting one just purely for the health of your water. If you're giving that water to your chickens or anything like that, try and keep it as clean as possible. I'm going to be putting all of that dirty water into the garden. So that doesn't really matter in terms of how dirty it is as a runoff. But if you want to be storing it longer term, you want to get rid of all those contaminants and all the nasty things that are going to cause the water to rot and get nasty smells. and and all of that. So I hope it was useful. I hope showing you firsthand has given you some motivation if you've been pondering whether to get one or not to get one. It's also an easy after fit. If you've already got everything going into your tank, it's pretty simple. You just cut the pipe, put the tea bracket in, drop the kit down and that's that. And it's not very expensive. Um, where we got ours from, it's less than 400 Rand for the whole kit, everything, which in the long run, considering how well it cleans is, is a bargain. So if you've got any questions about the system, let me know and I'll see how I can answer it. And also subscribe to our channel so we can take you along on our journey with us. And drop us a comment, anything that's relating to what we do or any help that you need. And then yeah, like it, share it. Let's, um, let's try and create a movement where we can all just live sustainably. Thanks for watching everyone.